Hey friends, it's Carolina Moore, your favorite sewing and quilting YouTuber. And today I'm showing you a product that's new to me and might be new to you as well. This is the English Paper Piecing Made Modern Paper, and I'm gonna try it out. You wanna join me? Let's get started. I was sent this English Paper Piecing Made Modern Paper to go ahead and play with. And so I wanted to open this up and show you what it is and play with it a little bit so that you could see how it works. So on the back it tells us that these are self-stick templates that leave no residue. And you can use the templates to cut and stitch your shapes. All the cutting is precise. The templates won't move around. No pre-turning, basting, or gluing. You can straight stitch by machine or hand. And uh, it says move the template from shape to shape, nothing to pull out later. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and give these a shot. It says cut the self stick templates with a rotary cut and ruler or scissors. I've got my rotary cutter and ruler, so I'm gonna try that out. Remove paper backing, finger press a self stick template to the right side of fabric. Use an add a quarter ruler and a rotary cutter and scissors to, to trim a quarter inch seam allowance. I have my add a quarter ruler so I can do that. And you can use these to fussy cut. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and give these a shot. I was then also a little sample kit to play with, but we're gonna go ahead and get into these sheets. So I'm gonna start with one sheet. It feels about the weight of like a cardstock. Maybe like a lightweight sticker paper. And we'll go ahead and cut some of these out. The instructions say that it is advisable to cut the horizontal lines first. So that's simple enough. And now I can trim these up. Okay, I got these cut out. I only have eight of them. It was, I guess, a little tedious, but I do know that you can get these papers and run them through your AccuQuilt Go with the English paper piecing die, and so that would be a lot faster. So I would probably do that in the future. Okay, these peel off. The backing is pretty sturdy. This also feels pretty sturdy, and I can just put this on a piece of fabric. I'm gonna put it on the back of the fabric. And then it said to use my add a quarter ruler and the add a quarter ruler, yep, it grabs that little edge of the paper right there so that I can trim all the way around. So it's not moving, it's staying in place, which is great for trimming this all the way around. Um, and that made that super simple and actually not super tedious. I thought that I'd be really annoyed by having to cut these with a ruler and I got just perfect seam allowances cutting with that at a quarter. Okay, let's see if I have, so this shape would be fun for doing a fussy cut. So we'll see how this fussy cuts. I'm gonna peel off that backing again. I just cut my fingernails too, so peeling it off is a little trickier, but not too bad. And I want to, let's see, how do I want to fussy cut this? That stem in the middle there. Okay, so let's see how I do on fussy cutting this. All right, it's not, there we go. Felt like I wasn't getting that snag, but I think I just wasn't going far enough on this add a quarter ruler. I'm gonna cut these two first. So I have some nice big scraps. And then this piece right here is just a tiny scrap. So this isn't tedious. I don't have to worry about lining up. It really does just grab. And so I'm not as concerned. Also the seam allowance, yeah, should be good. And that looks really nicely fussy cut. Once I fold these edges under, 
So that worked really, really well and really easy. And let's see. I'll do one more. So once they're attached, I can sew base or glue base just like I normally would. And I'm a glue baster, so I'm going to go ahead and glue base these. I think they are going to be a little trickier to get out than a regular piece, especially because I'm glue basting. I think if you thread based, getting them out might be a little simpler, but um, I don't know. We'll have to give that a shot. But they're just as easy to baste as a regular hexagon that I um, would use. Actually, I would probably say a little easier because the, I don't have to worry about the paper moving at all. The paper is staying in place while I just go ahead and baste these down. And I'm not having to worry about getting the even tension across because having that stuck in place already means that my fabric tension is right there. So I do like that. That's nice. So I'm going to go ahead and sew two together like I normally would. I have a whole video on English paper piecing that I will link down below. Um, those AccuQuill English paper piecing videos, I give a lot of details. So I'll link to English paper piecing videos if English paper piecing is new to you. Now the card is a little bit thinner than I'm used to. I use usually a heavier cardstock. And so the they're definitely more flexible than I'm used to. Not a ton more, um, but I'm definitely feeling a little bit of wiggle that, and I feel like I have to grip just a little bit tighter to get a good snag right here. So I have them all stitched together. The stitching looks like my stitching normally does. I used uh, Wonderfell's Invisifil, which is a nice thin weight thread, um, and they, it went together really beautifully. Um, the yeah, the that it has even tension across the back and that it's stuck to the back actually makes these seams look a lot nicer. Sometimes I get a little bit of like puckering on the back that goes away when the papers get taken out but the seams themselves actually look smoother. And let me see if I can show like on this, on this seam right here, I'd actually get some light coming through. So let me show, you can kind of see the light coming through the seams, especially like right here. You can really see that, that light coming through right there. And with this one, I really don't see light coming through the seams at all. So that is definitely a plus for using this kind of adhesive paper. My concern though is trying to take it out, I think is gonna be a little more obnoxious. So we're gonna go ahead and try that now. The glue hasn't set that long. I'm not really as worried about the glue because this part would be just like normal removing of English paper piecing papers is pulling out, like taking these off. And the longer the glue sets, kind of the crispier it is. And I honestly think it's a little easier the longer the glue has had to set. So if this was completely sewn in to the center of a piece, the, I'd have to start with a corner like over here to try to take this out. Oh, that's not that bad. That's a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. And then I could put this on a backing sheet to reuse or I could just go ahead and stick it on a new piece of fabric to go ahead and reuse and these are supposed to be reusable several times up up until they just lose their adhesive so I could see this being used um, probably three times based on how sticky it is right now so that's not terrible a lot of my one inch papers don't get used that many times so three times out of a paper is pretty solid that is the English paper piecing made modern papers and there are quite a few in a pack. I also was sent some of these 
papers that you can um, either print your own, especially if you have like a specialty pattern that you want to do, or you can um, run these through your AccuQuilt. If you go to sewforever.com, you can get your own sheets and I will link that down below as well. Let me know what you thought about these English paper piecing made modern sheets from sewforever.com. Well, there we go. What a fun new product. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. Remember that the comments box is for you. Also, I do have links down in my description box for this paper, as well as the add a quarter ruler. So you always want to check the description box for links to anything that I talk about in the video. If you're new around here, make sure you've subscribed so that you get all of my fun sewing and quilting videos. And friends, I've got more coming your way. So I'll see you right here real soon. Bye for now.